Hello truth seekers and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. We are back again with a fresh new batch of scalding tea that's gonna singe every single one of your freshly moisturized sock puppets. Because according to some outrageously spicy new allegations making the rounds, the biggest conspiracy theory of all may have finally been blown wide open. Turns out Prince Harry's daddy isn't who we all thought, if you catch my drift. That's right fam, emerging from the burnt embers of yet another pristinely curated press bunker, an explosive new report claims to have incontroversial DNA evidence proving that the perpetually petulant Prince Sparekin was actually the ill-begotten sired seed of his late mother's flame-haired military side piece fling, James Hewitt, all along. Not a single drop of that hollowed Windsor witch's brew coursing through those iconic ginger veins. But before we delve into the tumultuous waters of this revelation, if you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss the explosive content we have in store. So now I'll give you a moment to collect the shattered remains of your delicately crafted countenance off the fainting room floor before we dig into this salacious new chapter of the Grifter Games. Because this latest bombshell death thrones the decades worth of disgraced dad jokes and openly alleges that Charlie Dippled Darling was never even his legitimate spawn to begin with. My oh my, the visual aids alone on this fresh batch of anti-monarchist propaganda are enough to shrivel the hoity-toity resolve of a whole new generation of country life subscribing bumpkins. Cheeky side-by-sides of floppy-haired horse-faced junior juxtaposing with the square-jawed, smoldering studliness of known Diana Real Dick Downer James Hewitt. The similarities are just uncanny if you ignore the whole half-Pakistani genetic elephant in the Hewitt room. But naturally, the muckracking sleuths behind this shock doc aren't simply context to let the damning photographic evidence linger. No, they've gone full tilt brush pilled boomer with inside allegations that the entire House of Windsor is on the verge of a complete system reboot now that Charlie's castle has been dealt this devastating paternal uppercut. According to the increasingly hysterical narration, our newly cemented sovereign is supposedly in an absolute front hall fury over these scandalous DNA results allegedly on the verge of appending the entire line of succession by not only stripping away Harry's dubious ducal status, but outright ordering a legal name change back to civilian commoner status for the former Ginger Goofus. In the breathless, faux confidential tones we've all grown to expect from our most venerated YouTube royal expose huskers, this video's so-called Buckingham blabber insists Charles is now hell-bent on erasing every last trace of the non-biological baggage that is his ex-cab's wife ill-begotten indiscretion. Quoting shadowy disembodied insiders in the latest round of warmed over blind item dress-up. The narrator even alleges Harry himself was utterly wad-smocked upon learning of his newly reputed ancestral origins. Something about his whole world being turned face down in a burger sovereign smash cut or some other vaguely dim-witted verbiage that fails to impress. Because let's be honest here, if there's one grinning melon farmer who honestly had to have the proverbial penny dropped on his potential patrimony long before now, it'd be our plucky sizzbiz lidsbids herself. Or whatever low-hanging fruit code name the baked bean brainlets over at Spare Essential coined for their scruffy hanger-on protagonist between Noxus vape rips. Just picture it for a moment, if you can, wade through the vicious waves of secondhand cringe, our dimly charismatic ginger sulking in that suspiciously underdecorated Montecito Barracuda pit, masquerading as a lavish forever home. Out of some B-level skinny max softcore, nary a single precious heirloom in sight beyond that damning freckle pattern that has plagued his luckless lineage from cradle to grave all these dreary centuries. All that ill-gotten half-inheritance tarnish and nary a single sprig of that hollowed Windsor-bred panache and towering self-regard that separates the divine sovereign seed from wee pitiful commoner hordes endlessly desperate to bathe in their unearthly majesty. Not a trace of natural-born regal carriage to speak of, for all his poutingly performative protests of inherent birthright to the contrary. Of course, this sort of mole-faced man pain would be pure ambrosia for our resident whale of two grifters, Princess Poutine herself. 
Can't you just picture her signature smoky eye glare boring a hole through the back of Henry's mopishly sulking skull as she perches expectantly nearby, leg twitching with a bemused rictus grin frozen in place, eagerly awaiting the telltale signs of that next bout of melancholy inner torment that will cue her to frantically begin love bombing him anew. Everything okay, Has? You seem perturbed today. Come on, let Meg's kiss it all better like old times on the set. It's not like you're actually one of them or anything, am I right? She'll no doubt crone through her pristinely enhanced troll doll of an upturned snout. The desperation to remain relevant even within her own household has been set to a low, constant smolder within those senpaku peepers. But perhaps the juiciest morsel emerging from this piping hot goss grenade is the long simmering pot of steaming Hewitt paternity truth that's once again come rolling to a raging frothy boil. Enough to make even the steeliest spined royal flunkies uneasy, or so the rumor mongers insist. Because let's peel back the official narrative for just a moment, shall we? While those of you who attended primary schooling in less tonier districts may be left scratching your remaining scalp fungi by even the mere suggestion that one of history's most prominent at an entrance somehow procreated with a redhead commoner in the cavalry shortly after his birth. We more sensible members of the enlightened elite knew better. In point of undeniable blood-curdling fact, it's more likely that the Princess of Wales conceived with Hewitt's infamous supersize me thermos, full of potent polo pony seed sometime shortly after that ill-fated Uberwolfach family getaway that produced the chinless red-headed miracle now gracing every other sepia tone spread in artful grifter quarterly. Don't try too hard to picture the mechanics of how such an outrageous, switch-hitting genetic scandal materialized under the vaulted ceilings of Her Majesty's hollowed stamping grounds. Just trust that it's every bit as seamless and uncomplicated a transition as Miss Marco has made from minor cable artiste to respected globally renowned superhumanitarian since her not-so-humble commoner beginnings as that chick from Suits. Honest. Besides, do you really think a steely-eyed proto-renegade like Diana would balk at making just one teeny, infinite, seismally, consequential white lie to save face and preserve the integrity of the entire hereditary system? The same pristine paragon of virtue and discretion who famously donned that daring, please don't make me go back, t-shirt for daily Buckingham breakfasts. Preposterous. No. If you ask any reasonable, certifiable royal lorekeeper worth their coarsely milled mavern, snake oil supplements, the prospect of our people's princess cucking the cantankerous prince of petulance most likely ranks somewhere in the modest, high probability, if not outright, statistically inevitable ballpark. May Charles continue scattering hairs all across his awaiting morning pillows in pious horror at the very suggestion. And what say we forego our typical stated British reserve for a moment and indulge in a brief fanciful supposition here? One where Windsor reigning spare parts stud pulls the rare mental muscle up from his vape-choked brain cavity fog bank and actually leans full tilt into the renegade royal rebel fantasy he's become increasingly cosplantiated over by the years. So what do you guys think about it? Please share your thoughts in the comments and let me know what you think. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.